Guys, the update finally happened. Though they didn't add in the Jap Bomber, as you can see, they upgraded some of the payloads, they added in skins. And look at this. The P-38 is literally better than the P-47. Like, literally better. Like, it makes the P-47 obsolete, which now I feel stupid for because I wasted 4,000 coins on it. And I mean, God knows how much the Jap Bomber is going to be. Probably not much, but still. But yeah, we got 14 rockets. 14 rockets. Pretty insane. Also, um, for the B-25, they finally added in a tail gunner. Now, it's only one gun, but come on. Like, really? It took them all this time to add in a tail gunner. Now, hey, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, it may be one gun, but it's a tail gun. But, I mean, still. So, nothing much has really changed. They added in skins for some aircraft. Not really much of all. Like, I've looked through. Not really too many skins. Um, P-38 definitely has skins. I wonder about the P-39 Acrobat. Nah, eh, so not many planes have any sort of skins you can get. Still, though... Still pretty cool. So we're going to be doing the P-38 again. This time with a bit more added boom and zoom. So let's go into realistic mode. How do you want to do this? Battle of Midway, Pearl Harbor. Let's do a Midway. But guys, tell me how you think about the update. Like, this is really nice. And, I mean, I'm probably going to do a review on the B-25 soon. But this is insane. So we're going to be going in um, P-38, of course. But, I mean, it it makes the P-47 obsolete. Which is, by all standards, fine by me. Because, I mean, in my personal opinion, I hate the P-47. It's just, like, and, like, since the P-38 got an upgrade, again, I'm feeling stupid for buying that thing. Because I wasted a ton of money. That, I mean, could have been spent for something better now. I don't know why this is a lag fest. I don't know if it's because of the new everything. The game's just trying to, you know, trying to compensate for it. Which, I can't blame it. I mean, this is a ton of new stuff. It's starting to kind of clear up a bit. It also said that they fixed the uh, glitch of the doors and stuff on a P-38 also. So, they kind of mainly been buffing the uh, P-38 up a bit, which is really nice, because honestly, P-38 is one of my uh, favorite ground strikers, right next to the uh, Key 61 Hines. Because, come on, man, like, Key 61 Hines, 420 mils, like, enough said, just straight up enough said. But anyways, this guy joined, I don't know whether he's a Navy fighter or a Jap fighter, Oh, don't want to turn too hard now. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be uh, going in. So, of course, you get your four fifty caliber machine guns. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, one 20mm cannon. And 14 rockets. With, of course, a side of 500 pound bombs. This is insanity. Like, I mean, I guess the P-47 would technically have more armor... But, I mean, come on. Like, even I can't get that fat American to fly. Maybe in historic, but in realistic, no. And I'm not gonna blame the airplane. I'm not gonna blame the airplane itself because I've seen plenty of people take off with it. I mean, it's. I mean, all in all, it's not really my type of aircraft. I mean, I much prefer the P-37 or the P-38 because it's fast. It's furious. It can bring a payload and bail. And now with these rockets, it's... Like, look at that. You can even see the rockets. It's... It's OP. Like, OP. But, again, we have yet to see that. But we may actually do a bit of B-25 gameplay, too, just to, you know, test out how the back end works. But, yeah, guys, I mean, just, just think of what Wings of Duty is going to do next. Like, they've already added in camo skins, which is going to cost me a butt ton, but... You know, I'm always used to, um, grinding. 
especially in Wings of Duty, playing as, like, the heavy bombers, because you can grind so much so easily. So it definitely makes grinding a possible feature and stuff, you know, not too bad. You get to play as a bomber and stuff. And you can also rent aircraft. So now this is making me feel even more stupid about the P-47, because I can literally just rent the dang thing and, like, just, just not even bother buying it. Ooh, and looky here, we have a jack. So let's test this thing's... Oh. Oh, what? Um, did he leave? I don't get that. I was about to say... Oh, he's over there. But yeah, man. Oh, he probably changed into a fighter. If so, then we can just test this thing's dog fighting ability. I'm just... I'm hyped. I am really hyped. So this guy's taking off. Um, who knows what aircraft he's in. Hopefully an A5M because... I mean, if it's like an A6M, then... Oh, really? Okay. Well, I'm gonna put this guy out of his misery. Fire rockets! Oh my god! Jeez! Oh! What the heck? What the heck? Literally all of those kills were from my rockets. So I think the rockets have gotten a buff too. Cause that was... That was insane. Like, I couldn't even hear myself for a second. That was... That was loud. I mean, that was all 14 rockets. Oh, the Japs are not going to be happy about that. Oh, I can tell them that. So, he's on the other carrier now. I really don't care. I'm a dual landing. <laughs> No, P-38 is very, very fast, and I'm pretty crappy at landings with it. Like, generally, an airplane that doesn't have, like, a back tail wheel, I'm, I'm real, I suck at landing it. That's not to say that I haven't ever landed one. It's just, I kind of suck at it. But now, so we're going to try and uh, get to a speed where we can get our gears up, and then I'm going to go... Full throttle until we reach midway because gliding just won't work for some reason. Doesn't really matter though. So we absolutely devastated that jack carrier with purely rockets. Now the rockets were of course inaccurate. Some of them went overhead. But I mean I I mean just with the spray and pray tactic, it doesn't even matter. Like, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> All you have to do is spray and pray, and at least one or two of those rockets will hit. And it may not kill the carrier, but boy, is it going to leave it bruised. So, flaps up. Um, arm gears. I want to kind of land at the more longer side of the runway. Uh, gears. That's the thing, it's so fast that its gears won't let up after a while. So now I'm going to have to completely cut off throttle and probably... Like, look at this thing. This thing is Speedy Gonzalez right here. Alright, we should be uh, slowing down now. There we go. Now we're talking. So, who knows? This may also be my first landing. If stuff doesn't, you know, go haywire. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna see you when I get in the air. That is one successful landing light right there, ladies and gents. Probably my first time ever landing this blasted thing. Not saying that's bad, but, you know, kind of suck at landings with it. Anyways, yet again, see you when we get there. Alright, so I kind of had the sneaking suspicion that su that guy was an enemy. But he turned out to be like a P-40 or something. So, not really too much. Anyways, even more pausing. Alright, guys, jab fleet spotted. So, this time, to kind of keep it less insane, um, I'm gonna fire all of my rockets on one carrier, then go to another one, or like a frigate, maybe, and then just drop my bombs. Because I don't want to waste all of it on one carrier, as you saw there, because the bombs did absolutely nothing. Or not absolutely nothing, but, you know, they didn't do as much damage as I wanted them to. Now, we can't target a frigate, 
which would probably be more effective, actually. Let me see. If I can even aim the blasted things. Oh, yeah. Fire the rest. Oh, my gosh. I think, yeah, I think they've given the rocket to buff. Because back then, I mean... It usually took more than that to kill a carrier or damage it. But now it's like, ah, uh, you know, just, just a couple of rockets and, uh, boom. Alright, Banzai! I'm dropping, and I'm going. Maybe do a bit of damage here. I'm pulling off. Ooh, that worked. Yep, that thing got bruised. And you know what? Before we end off this episode, let's go in as a uh, B-25. Just so we can test out this new tail gunner. Whew. Now, I went... Because they said that they were doing an update for uh, uh, 2017. By the way, Happy New Year, guys. That's, like, really, really late. But yeah, I mean... Here, let's uh, look at... Ooh... So it may be only one gun, but I mean, come on, guys. It's it's better than nothing, though. So now that we've given the Japs a good thrashing with our um, P-38, we're gonna uh, finish off the deal with a uh, good old dessert of B-25 bombs. Now, of course, it's gonna be a lag fest, so see you guys when we're in the air. All right, guys, and we are back, and uh, looky here. So apparently it looks like uh, Tom got to be a tail gunner. Oh, look at that face mask. Jeez, man. Anyways, uh, we've now lifted off. We are now turning towards our destination. Uh, let's give off this. Uh, let's give this tail gunner another quick little shoot. Ah, beautiful. Now it does have a very closed window, like a very closed window space. So kind of use this when someone's dead on your six. This actually really helps a lot, because, believe me, I cannot tell you enough how many times, like, a six, I mean, a zero got on my six, and I couldn't do anything about it, because he was in my, uh, um, Top Gunner's blind spot. Not saying that Charlie's bad, no, I mean, in the Hudson video, he clearly proved his, uh, worth, and, um, all that, but, sadly, even Charlie has his limitations, even with the 50 caliber magic. Anyways... Even more pausing. Because that's what we do. Um, guys, we got a bogey. He's attacking, he's attacking. Oh, Tom's going at it. Crud, he's like an A6M. No, 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 no. Get him, get him, get him. Crud, no. Tom, it's all up to you. Tom. Oh, we're nailing him. Oh, we're nailing him. Oh, yeah. He, he, oh. Oh, I think that's our actual first air kill that's in the air. How's the uh, damage? Alright, not too bad. Good job, Tom. Good job, Tom. You proved your worth here today. If it weren't for you, we would have gotten wrecked. Anyways, we are missing an aileron. Hopefully, we didn't take any engine damage, because that'd be really bad. Oh, God, that guy's furious. Um... Um, Charlie, Charlie, you might want to watch out here. Ah, come on, Phil. It's all you, buddy. We can't let that A6M distract us. All right. But yeah, I mean, good job for Tom, man. He had that 150 cal and he handled it like a beast. Um, um, Charlie. Oh, God, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna drop this one salvo and then switch to my guns quickly. Bombs away. Alright, that's enough. Ah! Where the heck is this guy coming from? Get off of me, you scoundrel. Oh, he got tagged. Oh, no. Oh, that was probably something important. Okay. Um, um, no, no, no. How are we doing on damage? I don't know. Oh, we killed him. Good job. Um, how are we doing on damage? Is our elevator dead? No, but we are really badly bruised. 
We can still make it back to Midway, thankfully, because we have a rudder and an elevator, but if that A67 comes back, and if he hits us, then we're probably dead. Uh, this is going to be really hard. Now, I've, I have had a scenario where this happened in, like, a Dauntless, and I did make it back. Of course, I got shot down by that bloody Zero again, but, you know, I made it back. But it is very tricky, because you have to rudder yourself in a good position. Like, you have to rudder yourself up. And, I mean, we have an elevator, so we can still kind of turn, you know. I'd rather lose an aileron than uh, my elevator. Incoming bandits. Oh, for Turn God's sakes, this guy is relentless. 10 o'clock low, 10 o'clock low. It's your time to shine. Uh, okay. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. Get back here. He's an A6M Mark II by the uh, looks of it. He's pulling off. Oh, he's going to uppercut us, ain't he? He's going to uppercut us. That's going to be bad. That's going to be really bad. If he comes up on us, then we're dead. Don't fail me now. <laughs> we didn't... Oh, God, he's right under us. He really wants us dead. I got a, I got a stinking plane to commandeer. I am very badly bruised. Okay. Um... This is bad. I'll see you guys when something else happens.